And these are the Samsung ICR18650 26F, and they are in the pink color, like you've seen in my videos. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here. <clears throat> and you can see what the specifications are. We have uh, 2600 milliamp hours. Um, there's the minimum charging voltage is, you know, basically no more than 4.2 volts. Their nominal voltage is 3.7. They have the typical CCCV charging specification there. Uh, here we go. So standard charge would be 1.3 amps. Rapid charge is 2.6 amps. Um, that would be pretty high. I don't think I would, I would ever charge these batteries that that high of an amperage. I think I would I would probably top it off at about 1.5 or so. Um, three hours charging time, two and a half hours rapid charge. Okay, so the max, <clears throat> sorry, the max discharge current, which is very important, is 5200 milliamps. So basically five amps. Cutoff voltage, 2.75. There's a height operating temperature or whatever. So then if we go down to test current of 0.2 milliamps, and here is a measured capacity in amp hours. It's pretty good. It's It stays well into the 2500 range and then there's the watt hours so this would be you know one amp two amp three amp five amp and there's no uh protection current in, in this battery and there's there's a picture there's the top it's got the button top now the f and the fm i believe are are identical in terms of uh, capacity so here's some uh charts showing discharge we have here at 4.2 at 0.2 of an amp, we're getting about 25, yeah, about right around 2600 amp hours. And as you can see, the faster you draw the current out at 4.2, uh, at let's say at two amps, sorry, that's my dog, at two amps, <clears throat> you basically drop right down to below 4.1 and, and you're, you're getting about 2500 milliamps. And then obviously at uh, what would that be? That would be eight, five here, five. You're still getting around 25, but your uh, your voltage curve is is um, drastically changed here. So you're, you're getting basically less voltage through there. And then you have discharge time. So this one's pretty easy to look at. At 4.2, at 0.2, there you're getting about 13 hours. And then if you're pulling, let's say, you know, two, one and a half. So. Just some charts here showing you um, power, protection test, charging, and then the conclusion this cell says this is a very good cell for standard 2600 milliamp cell. Remember the cell is unprotected, this means we have a higher voltage at high load than protected batteries. So that's pretty much it. Uh, these are fairly inexpensive on AliExpress. Um, let's see if we jump over to you can find them for about 90 Canadian dollars for 32 pieces Now there's 16 for 40. There's a hundred. There's a hundred cells See, but you got to be careful. There's no there's no rating or feedbacks from these people. So you want to go with I think someone That has some sort of feedback although a lot of times in, in these these batteries you might not find a lot of feedbacks. See here, there's there's one here. F, here's F. Now this guy has, see these are button tops though. I would stay away from anything that has a button top. Uh, sorry, um, this type, I don't know what this type of top is. I'm drawing a blank here. But this top here, I think these have been modified. I don't know, I don't think they would ever come, they would ever come this way. I don't know if they modify them so that you can use them in regular equipment. Here's 30 pieces. FM, 100% original. So these look more like what they should look like. But again, you're always you're always gonna take a small risk when ordering from AliExpress. Um, I I haven't had really bad luck so far, and so I haven't I haven't myself actually opened the dispute with anybody yet. But I hear that AliExpress is pretty good with um with refunding your money if the product isn't as described or if something fails. So here's 200 pieces. Obviously the more you spend, uh, this is in US, obviously the more you spend, the riskier it is to purchase. See, but these all have the, those tops on them. 
FM three point protection and protected. See, I don't know if these have been modified to add a protection circuit. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Anyways, there you have it. I'm not gonna drag it on any longer. So those are the batteries that we're using here, and we can see how they perform once I have both the packs ready to go. Thanks for watching.